Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll. Oh, my word. We're having a right old giggle this morning, aren't we? They're having too much fun in the gallery. No fun on my watch in there. We've got an hour. It's just hold. Oh, Hannah's holding Paul's hand. Uh, apparently, it creeps him out. It worries him. He says that he needed that hand as well to do uh, all of his mixing. Um, anyway, welcome to Sewing Street. There's something in the water today. How many days are you on now, Paul? Day 16 at the moment, so he's starting to get a bit delirious. He needs a bit of a, a line, doesn't he, in the morning? But he's just said he loves being here, though. He absolutely loves it, and that's why. He's, he's, it's all legal. He's freelance. It's fine. Uh, so... Sewing Street, welcome to the show. Those of you who have never watched us before, you're thinking, oh my word, who are these crazy people? Uh, we are an amazing sewing community where we all met a few years ago back on a channel called Sewing Quarter and sadly that came to an end in December and thanks to all of the fans, a lot of the community that, that have watched the, the channel, all of your messages, all of your support has meant that Steve Bennett, who is the Gemporia founder, has taken us under his wing, got lots of us all back together and said, right, come on and let's pick up where we where you left off. So we're all we are starting sort of from scratch again, which means that we're asking you for your input. What do you want to see on this channel? What do you want to see from this channel? So what demonstrations? Do you want to appear doing demonstrations? Let us know. We're always looking for, for new talent to come on and, and show their skills and share their skills. Uh, so quilting, dressmaking, toy making, bag making, hand sewing. If you've just seen Susan Briscoe, the last hour there that was repeated, uh, she's the queen of Sashko and quilting. So I know that uh, uh, we've got a lot of love for Susan Briscoe. Uh, Jane Greenough, of course, with Cross Stitch as well, has been already on the show. And we're only just over two weeks old. So we've already had such amazing feedback and lots of great input from great guest designers. Next week, jam-packed with guest designers as well. I think every day we've got incredible guests coming in, uh, as well as our brand new presenter starting tomorrow on his own. John Cole Morgan is going to be here all on his own for the whole weekend. Well, I say all on his own. I don't know whether he's got um, guests on at the weekend. I think he might have at some point um, over the weekend. So I say all on his own, just I'm not going to be here, basically. And the guys are going to be there for him. And you're going to be there for him. So please do send him all of your messages of encouragement, as you already have done for him. As I know, that's really, really helped his nerves. He's um, so, so lovely. And he's an incredible quilter. He's going to bring so much to the channel, which is amazing. Now, how do you buy? If there is something that you see on, on the show that you love, and you want to get creative with or if there's any tools that you uh, that you, you like the look of then you can purchase on our website which at the moment is part of our sister channel's website um, but if you type in sewingstreet.com www.sewingstreet.com it will redirect you to Jewelry Maker website but we have our own page on there where you can watch us you can sign up to the newsletter and you can purchase the products so everything that's on the show today is already listed there which is great, which is really, really good. So it's not like pre-order, all the prices are the same, but it means that you can buy in advance. So if there's something you know that you want, you can just start checking out on that now. Uh, things like the, the Riley Blake fabric that we had yesterday, that was selling before we, even, uh, before we even showed it on air. So be aware, if there's something that you desperately want, don't wait for me to show it. Have a look on the website, it will be there. Loads of new things today. Lots of new marking tools. You've already spotted the leopard print sewing uh, box. Love, love, love this. How cool is that? Oh, sorry. Ignore my sponge. I was just doing a bit of cleaning this morning, keeping the germs away. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, by the way. Everyone who's looking for the sponges on the website. Oh. Oh, it's sold out. All, I just wanted the sponges. No, it's just my little sponge from the kitchen. Um, you'll see all in a bit because we've got some uh, we've got some uh, marking tools which are brand new today. A lot of people have been getting in their messages of what uh, marking tools they use and what ones they like. So we're going to bring you some of our favourites in a minute. Uh, panels. Right, so the panel that we had yesterday with Debbie Shaw sold out uh, and then we managed to put together some bundles but the panels have been absolutely flying out. This one... I'm not going to do it straight away. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I love the colours. It's very, very Debbie Shaw, isn't it? I know that she had a great input in purchasing the, the, the Riley Blake fabric yesterday and the lovely Hyde Ranger fabric. It's got another, another beautiful spring feel to it. I think even as a wall hanging, if you were to frame one of those or a new home gift, that'd be really, really lovely. So, the panel. 
is coming up. It's already underneath and already people checking out on it, so be aware. Uh, if you want to send in any messages today, then you can do it via our Facebook page or in general, not just today, if you want to share any of your makes, if you want to uh, get in touch with us, if you want to uh, to get some inspiration, or if you want to post what is your inspiration. We've got a, a, a post up there that our producer Hannah started. We've also got the post uh, from Debbie Shaw, which is the Sewing Street Surgery. First Monday of every month, Debbie Shaw will be going through all of your uh, problems that you need uh, help with on sewing related issues. <laughs> uh, so get all of your questions in for Debbie as well on the Facebook page, Sewing Street TV, Sewing Street TV. Alternatively, there's a lovely fan page, Sewing Street TV fan page as well. If you do want to share all of your makes and your tips and get get to know other people all around the country, all around the world, in fact, all uh, all of us so is coming together and learning new techniques. So, right, let's start with freezer paper because I'm going to just tell you we've got four rolls left. We ordered in hundreds of these. We will be reordering it, but just so you know, we've only got four rolls left. And I know so many people use this in their everyday uh, crafting, whether you're making templates, uh, it's it's great for quilting as well. If you want to use it for, uh, it's got sort of like, let me, transferring patterns. It's got a slightly shiny side and then the side that isn't shiny. If you iron onto the, the not shiny side, onto your fabric, then this will sort of stick. It's obviously not a, an adhesive, but it will adhere to your fabric temporarily. Uh, I was actually looking through this book, which I'm gonna to come to in a minute, but there's a section on, there's a section on freezer paper. Sorry, I went a bit mad with my wonder clips. There's too much. But look, there's actually a section about freezer paper applique in there. Uh, so there's lots of info as well. We're coming on to that book. But just so you know, we're now down to three of these. You get loads on the roll, 12 metre roll for £6.49. It's great value, actually, because I know a lot of people, this is the great thing about the community, is a lot of people will message us and say, really struggle to get this designer or uh, fabric, like Tula Pink, for example, American um, designer, and you normally would have to pay quite a big shipping cost to get her fabric over. But another product that's very popular in America is freezer paper. But uh, of course, what comes with that is a big shipping cost. So we've got it in at £6.49 for 12 metres. Uh, there's lots of tutorials online uh, of different ways of using it. There's so many different ways of using it in crafts. So that's a great product at £6.49. Brilliant. That is about to sell out, by the way. The book is underneath us. Yes, you can start checking out on it. I will come to it. I will come to it in a bit. Let's go for the flower headed pins. So we had these with Victoria. Carrington. We launched them a few days ago with, with Victoria uh, when we were doing our binding demo day. So uh, another product that is now extremely limited so I just wanted to flash in as we've got 12 packs left. I like the flower headed pins. Why? Because they're really lovely and long. So if you are doing um, quilting or if you're doing uh, bag making, if you're doing binding again as we said they're lovely and long but also They've got, obviously, a bright coloured flower head, which I know sounds a bit like, oh, OK, well, what's good about that? Is that you can see it. The amount of times you will sew along and you might leave pins in because you can't see the head. So this is brilliant to be able to have them. I know loads of people that, um, that really, really uh, are huge advocates of the clover flower head pins. In a nice little box, they are sharp, Beautiful sharp finish and they will glide through your fabric smoothly. It's something we will get again, but just make the most of it so you've got them at the moment. They've been super, super popular and we're down to less than 20 of those. Well, single figures now. Just £10.99 for those. Okay. Nice long pins. It's good to be able to have different sizes of pins for different projects. I love the little cute applique pins as well. We've got to get those in. But it's good to have pins for different projects. Um... Okay, shall we do? Let's do the book because already I can see a lot of people are looking at it. This is a book from Susan Briscoe, who is the lovely lady that we met last, well, I say we met, we've known her for years now, but uh, you met on the, on the telly last week. She was actually, uh, her show was repeated just the hour before we came live now, so you might have seen her Sashko show. This is a book that, I've never actually even seen before. It's the first time I've even seen this book. So those of you that um, were fans of Sewing Quarter and fans of Susan Briscoe, 
tell me if you've seen it before, because I've never actually seen it. It's brilliant. And it's it's all quilting techniques. So, I mean, look, I, I did get a bit um, wonder clip happy with the pages that I picked out. It probably would have been quicker for me to, to pick out pages I wasn't going to show you today. <laughs> but... <laughs> There's so many really useful tips in here that I don't see in other quilting books, and that's why I wanted to, to highlight those. So Susan, as I say, she's renowned for Sashko, but she's also an incredible quilter. Um, before we bring in the graphics, just want to show you this. We have an amazing, amazing connection with Susan Briscoe. This book is £12.99, which I thought, oh my word, for the amount that's in this book, that is brilliant. Look what we can do. £9.99, I have no idea how. I don't know whether that was to do with Susan or, or not, but this is a brand new book for less than £10. Do you know what? She's probably going to be ringing us in, in a minute, isn't it? Isn't she? She's saying, it's taken me years to do this. You've got 400 tips, techniques and trade secrets for making quilts. So this isn't just your quilting project. This is taking different techniques, taking different tips. And also, as always, true Susan Briscoe style, it's a brilliant book that's broken down so well with lots of great history as well as getting started. So don't get overwhelmed with this. If you're starting out quilting, it goes through really, really clearly. If you've watched any Susan Briscoe shows or if you've been to any of her workshops, she's a great teacher. Such a wealth of knowledge. So starting with your equipment that you're going to need, going through... See, lots of the quilting books have this. It's useful. But um, what I love about this book is that it's a lots of tips that you don't actually see in normal quilting books. So things like this. Preparing your fabrics. We get a lot of questions coming in about preparing your fabrics, about working with different types of fabrics. In quilting, that's not something we normally talk about. Preparing, dyeing your own fabrics. I really like this as well about, um, oh look, we talked about uh, anyone for tea, we talked about this with Jane Greenoff, with cross stitch, making it slightly aged to make it look, uh, you know, more antique -y. Printing your own fabric and using it with applique, printing your own photographs onto fabric. See, it's really lovely. Thinking about how you can incorporate them into quilt box, making memory quilts. That'd be so lovely. Now, this section is something that when I first started in patchwork, I really, really, really struggled with. And I felt a bit silly to struggle with it because I thought, oh, why am I finding putting colours together so difficult? And I actually learned, no, it's a skill in itself and it is actually something that you learn along the way, yes. But also to be able to have the colour wheel and the colour palette and talking about colour and working with, com you know, confidence of using colours and where to use different colours, using dots, using planes, using patch uh, patterns, introducing thread colours. It goes into such depth. So those of you that are brand new or those of you that want to, to learn more about patterns, different scales of print, we talk about that so often. Cave spoke to John about it when he met him um, and it was shown on the Channel 5 show. He was talking to him about different scales of print, which is so important as you go along your journey. Um, I'm going to keep flicking through because I could just talk about everything in here. For less than £10, it's brilliant. Also, different styles, different genres, history, taking inspiration. Those of you that, we couldn't pick up a, a Susan Briscoe book without talking about the history of quilting, of course. This is what I love about her books, is that she really goes into why we do it. She's so passionate about the history of it. Hannah, um, equally, is so passionate about the sort of inspiration behind quilts and the inspiration behind fabrics. So whenever Hannah, well, this is why she set up the thread on Facebook. Hannah's my producer, by the way. She set up a thread on Facebook that wants to know what your inspiration is. So when she was in Burma, saw lots of beautiful, um, uh, obviously, temples that had amazing gold leaf patterns, and instantly she saw an idea of quilting patterns or fabric ideas. Uh, and similarly with this, talking about what is your inspiration when it's quilting, how to get inspiration. Uh, again, going then back through the basics of cutting with a rotary cutter, making templates, fussy cutting. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to, to flick through. What is fussy cutting? If you're new, it's really good to be able to go through, uh, you know, all of these techniques that you might hear us saying, uh, piecing and, you know, chain piecing, piecing in speed. It goes through it step by step with photographs. Right, I wanted to point this out. 
how many pictures I've seen on the fan page since Victoria Karen did that pre-record show well, over two weeks ago now, just before we launched, we did a few little teaser shows, didn't we? And um, I know that Victoria did a great demonstration on, um, am I saying it correctly, S simile? Semily quilting, semily patchwork. I know, Seminole, Seminole, that's it, Seminole quilting. <laughs> Hannah says, I always say Semolina. That was like that dodgy custard that you used to have at school. Oh, was it green? Gosh, you've just, you've just woke, awoken a really horrible memory for me of school, of the dinner lady dolloping on lumpy semolina onto my, um, onto my apple sponge. Chocolate concrete, remember that as well? Anyway, it's not semolina. It's seminal quilting, seminal patchwork. But I've seen lots of people having a go at that, so there's a, se there's a section on it. String patchwork is a really great way of using up your scraps or any of you, you know, smaller pieces that you've got left over. Foundation paper piecing. Look, I'm not even, can I just show you? I'm not even halfway through the book for, for 10 pounds. Uh, sorry, I'm, I, I've got to go quicker, haven't I? So, throughout all of uh, the book, you've got so many very, very clear images, text, uh, a beautiful, beautiful book that's just broken down into really great sections. Insert seams. Is this a Y seam? Yeah. Right, I'm scared of Y seams. I don't know why, but I am scared of them. But she goes through it. She goes through mitres and insert seams. Curved seams. Right, I need to put this out for John. I'm going to put this on his desk for tomorrow. I'm just going to leave it open on this page. So John Cole Morgan, um, he said, he's an amazing quilter, but he says, don't do calves. Just don't do calves. I don't want to do calves. So I'm going to leave that open for him, inspire him. Um, freehand curves. See, it's just brilliant. Fuse applique, so that's what I was talking about with your freezer paper. We're down to our last 30 of these, by the way. Different ways of applique, needle turn, reverse applique. Hawaiian applique I'd not heard of before. Look. That is so cool, isn't it? Um, Hannah says, I've heard of it. And she says, I think it's really, really cool. Bias binding applique. It's like a Celtic knot, isn't it? That's so cool. I love that. I've never seen anything like it. Hannah's saying there was a lady um, that found some inspiration when we were talking about inspiration, talking about stained glass windows and using those bias strips you can create almost like your stained glass window images. Um, if you've ever watched uh, a demo of, yeah, the stained glass window um, quilts that we, that we did at Sewing Quarter, uh, they were beautiful with binding and curve. It just looks amazing, doesn't it? It's a whole different area that we've never really um, completely explored, especially had it in a book. Right, this, I've never even heard of it. Shadow applique, birdery per se. I feel like everybody in the office is going to get a copy of this book to write. We all thought we knew a bit about quilting, but actually, this is the great thing. We're all on different levels of our journey and com completely sort of, um, you know, learning different techniques from different countries. Something here in the UK, something completely different. Again, in America, I know that Susan travels all around the world. Uh, she learned so many different techniques and, uh, and different ways of doing things, and I love the fact that she's documented it in a book, and then we've gone, ah... Less than ten pounds. <laughs> Sorry, Susan. I'm surprised we haven't had a phone call yet. Um, lovely, crazy patchwork. So they're all great transferable skills, aren't they? Talking about wadding now. So we've got our quilt top done. It then has a really big section. Normally, you might get a page of wadding, finishing, and that's it. Binding, wadding, finishing, quilting. Normally, gets a page or two in the in a book. This. Look at how much we've still got, and this is all just dedicating to then once you've done your patchwork. So, the wadding, a page, choosing your wadding, your thickness, the sizes, the shrinkage, the colours, cheap wadding, machine, hand wadding. I mean, it's just brilliant. How can I quilt? Making a quilt sandwich. We've got a question from a customer. Yeah, absolutely, Hannah. Hi, Sharon. She wants to get this book. Um, right, if you're buying online, yes, you will need to make an account. It is free to do so, uh, but you can create an account online. Once you've done it once, then you've done it. So then you can just purchase and it's really easy to log in. It's free to create an account. Also, if you are a bit, I, I was like this this morning, trying to do something online and I needed help from everybody in the office. I nearly was on the phone, like trying to ring someone because I couldn't log in. Um, but anyway, 
I prefer to speak to somebody, not for Sewing Street. This was for something completely different. Um, thank you, Paul. He did sort it in the end. And lovely Alan from uh, Jewelry Maker. But also, um, I instantly, my instinct was, I need to speak to somebody. I need to speak to somebody. I'm not confident on the computer. So we've also got a lovely customer service team, which are based literally down the road from us here in the Midlands. And they are lovely, really lovely. Um, in fact, if you watch Sewing Quarter, it's the same team that picked up the phone at Sewing Quarter. So chat with them. They'll set you up an account in no time and have a bit of a chat with them anyway. Um, so yes, you can create an account online or on the phone. Back to the book, quilting, hand quilting, where to start. Thanks for your questions, Sharon. Get all your questions in, of course, especially days like today when I haven't got a guest on with me. It's a good chance to ask these questions because quite often we're really, really manic and talking to a guest. So it's a good time to get questions in. Long arm quilting. Oh, if you're lucky enough to have a long arm quilter, there's a section on that. Quilt as you go. Or even if you just want to know about long arm quilting. I heard about it and I thought, oh, I can't do that because my, my arms aren't long enough. I know it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> I'm only joking. I thought it was a funny joke. Nobody laughed. No one laughed. They were worried about me. But no, if you don't know about it, you can read about it. Sashko, of course, there was going to be a section on Sashko, hand quilting, corded quilting, and trapunto. You know how much I love trapunto, making it nice and squidgy. What's this? Big stitch and, tr and tr tying. That's cool. Big stitch, little stitch. <laughs> you could do a quilt, hand quilting, and then you can hand tying as well. Uh, binding and finishing, uh, applying lay, uh, lapped binding, mitered corners. There's so much in this book. Invisible edge finish. How cool is that? Yeah. Underneath on the web. If they're not appearing for you, refresh your page. Or ring the customer service team if you're struggling to see anything on your page. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know why that's happening. If I'm honest, a couple of people have said that they struggle to see things underneath us on the web. Um, I'm not sure whether it's us or whether it's your computer. Refresh it, and if you struggle, then please call the customer service team. Making your own quilt label as well. Labeling your quilts. Quilt group. How many of us are involved in quilt, uh, quilt groups? And uh, I know that John Cole Morgan, he'll probably talk to you a lot about it tomorrow. He's got a lovely community of ladies, including lovely Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia, who does all of his binding. Um, but this is great to be able to do a group project. You don't need to overwhelm yourself and do a, you know, a quilt all by yourself. It's great to, to be able to sit together with a group and know what are the things that you need to think about if you're making a group quilt. Then, if you get to the point, once you get to the end of this book, you'll be ready to go to a show or an exhibition and Susan is encouraging us all to do it. Why not? Organising your exhibition, um, tracking the exhibits, the catalogue, running an, ex uh, an, ex uh, an ex exhibition as well. Uh, it's, how good is that? So you could do your own. Visiting large shows, entering competition shows. Do make sure you call the customer service team because um, I think that we've had a lot of people who have gone straight to the web. Just £9.99. If you want to speak to the customer service team, there's a, a few people who were, um, who were struggling to buy it on the web. We've had a few messages. Hannah's going to run upstairs, speak to, to Neil and Hayley and see what's going on. But... Um, if you are having any problems, I know a lot of people have spoke to the customer service team and managed to get it on the phone line number, which is completely free to call. 0800 001 4433 is the number to call and it's completely free to speak to them. So once you've, um, you it also go through, and I've never seen another quilting book that does this, talks about exhibiting, talks about entering a competitive show. How amazing is this? Entering your quilt, the winning section. This is so good. And I love it. It says, look, which quilt wins depends on others in the competition. It's not on an individual merits alone. The quilt, if the quilt didn't win any award um, at one show, uh, then it may be the best of another. And I love that she talks about, you know, whether you're first, second, dropping points, what, how to, to gain more points if you're competing, preparing your exhibition quilt how to pack it as well and deliver it. If you're making it for a gift for somebody, you think, oh my word, how do I actually post this quilt? So she goes into such depth 
about what you need. Care and storage, how, of, how to hang your quilt, because I know we all run out of beds, don't we, when we've got a few quilts. How to use and display it in different ways. How to care for vintage quilts. Maybe you've been passed down a quilt or you want to pass down a quilt. Maybe to, to gift this book of showing how to care for them. It's absolutely brilliant. Estimating fabric quantities. That's a good when you that's a really good point actually, because you can go into a fabric shop, you know you've got in mind what quilt you want to make, but you're thinking, I have no idea how much fabric I'm going to need. So this will talk you through as well the maths reference and estimating the quantities that you're going to be using. So that's brilliant. Also, glossary. So obviously, this is quite an in-depth book. It will go through all of the different terminologies it will go through all of the different terms um, it's only going to be available on the phone line i believe at the moment call the customer service team or refe refresh your page or check over the next couple of hours have a look and it should appear on the web soon i think if you're having any problems ring the customer service team the gremlins are here the gremlins are here oh I don't know what swapping servers mean. I don't know. I've swapped servers and it's, yeah, it's meant the technical gremlins are here. Call the customer service team. Keep an eye on the website for the book. It will be there. They're sorting it. Also, look, I like this. I noticed this straight away. So it's a really quick reference, again, of um, different sizes, different quilt sizes, mattress sizes so if you're making for a, a, a bed or you know making for a wall hanging and then also just some quick key reference point this is brand new today way over half the stock has now gone it's an amazing book as you can tell i've literally only spent an hour with this this morning and i've already learned so much and got so inspired to try new techniques try something different try something new for 900 Sorry, for nine, not, not 100, £9.99. <laughs> Do you like the way I use my wonder clips? I didn't have any post-it notes this morning. We'll, we'll do the wonder clips in a minute as well. £9.99. Oh, the panel already selling very, very quickly. Right, I'm going to take all these wonder clips out because I'll forget to put them in the box otherwise. Right. A lot of people ringing up about the panel also. The panel is gorgeous. We do have it in a bundle. First of all, let's do it on its own. If it's not appearing on the web page, please do call the customer service team 0800 001 4433. It is free to call them. If you haven't created an account already, don't worry. They can help you with that. They can help you. They can create you an account as well, which is free to do so. Uh, and you'll only pay one PMP, even if you're checking out multiple times. How beautiful would this be? Maybe with Noel's crafty gyro cut tool. Imagine fussy cutting some of these beautiful flowers, making your own fabrics. You could even frame one of them and have it as a wall hanging, couldn't you? Or like as a nice um, rectangle cushion, maybe with some sort of pom-pom trim or even a border from the next fabric. Or simply, it, it, you could, like uh, Debbie Shaw showed us yesterday, Make the most of the fabric that we've got coming up. Do yourself a board around the outside. And that could be a really lovely quilt as a, a gift for somebody that's moving home. Or It's just so springy, isn't it? If you were just to take one of those little, uh, one of those plaques, you could embroider over the top of it, couldn't you? You could hand stitch over the top of it. I tell you what, for £10, that is a big panel. They're big, big blocks on there, aren't they? Oh, it reminds me of like... John Lewis, you know, next at home, Marks and Spencers, maybe garden party or conservatories. They're really, really lovely colours. And if you pull on maybe some of those teal tones or the fresh spring greens or even the purples, there's loads of colours actually in there, you know. Lovely watercolours. Very, very, um, very Debbie Shaw. Debbie Shaw colours. And I love the, 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 little, um, the little quotes on there as well. Share kindness. Really important for us all to remember to be kind. Just looking at the print and looking at the panel, all of those different colours, it is gorgeous. Look at that. Just £9.99. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I can explain that. Yeah. 
large fabric panel. Just remember, if you are multi-buying on this one, it will already come cut. It will already come pre-cut. Sorry about the technical gremlins, by the way, on the website. Let me show you how you can uh, do it still online. If you go to... Hang on, I've got my... Um, if you go to sewingstreet.com, there it is. It's all right. So let me find it. Sewingstreet.com. It will take you to this page. If you then, if I click play, then it will be live. It will be me live. Um, so at the moment, I'm struggling to see them underneath me as well. So if you type in at the top here, let me, what's the item code number? Let's bring the graphics in. Y, J. If you're new, see at the top of the screen, above the graphics, just here, there. That's the item code number. So you can jot that down so then you know that unique item code, basically. So Y, J, Y, V, 23, right. There's no picture at the moment, but... I'm not sure why, but there is, I'm not sure why there's no picture, but you can still add it to your basket to check out. So with all of them, if you do prefer, prefer to buy on the web, you can actually search your product code on the website. We got that. So what was the item code of the, the book? And we'll get that as well and we'll see if that works. So it's, it, don't worry, you don't need to type it. You can type in jewelrymaker.com, but you can also get us via sewingstreet.com, which you can see along the bottom under the telephone number. If you want to call the, tele the, the customer service team, that's completely free. I like to give you a choice, though. Um, so the Susan Briscoe book, R-N-P-U, there it is. It comes up already, 08. For some reason, it's not appeared underneath, but they are there. Image at the moment, sorry. Oh, there it is. Oh, nearly. It, the computer seems to be having issues this morning. <laughs> I think everybody at two weeks old has, has a few yeah, technical problems, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> 9,099. We're only two weeks old, so thank you for bearing with us with our few TV problems. But you still can get it. You can still get it. We're still in the process of developing our own website, so we're just using um, our sister channel's website at the moment. But it's there. There's the... So just to remind you, that item code is RNPU08. It's £9.99, and way over half the stock is now checked out already. So well done on finding that one. Okay. So the panel, it comes also in a bundle. The panel available on its own at £9.99, but I've got a feeling a lot of people are going to want the bundle because the, oh, the colours are so beautiful together. So should we do the bundle first? All of these are half metre pre-cuts. I'm going to lay them over the top so you can see how beautifully. There you go. So... You get a metre and a half of fabric. You get your panel and a metre and a half of fabric. Cat on cameras is literally going, I love these. They're beautiful. They're so on trend, aren't they? So on trend. Think about how much you would pay for some of those special cushions in Next at Home with a lovely piped edge. And with honestly, with the, the books that we've been doing over the last few days, you get such beautiful inspiration. How about the book that we did yesterday? The book that we did yesterday with Debbie Shaw, even like the simple little plot plant, plant holders with this would be beautiful. That fabric and then a wall hanging to go with. I'd love just to put this into an embroidery hoop and just add some embellish embellishments, maybe like little French knots in the, in the inside of the succulents. That looks so beautiful. Um, Hannah's got plants all over her house, all inside her house. You need to get some um, plant pots. Your aloe vera's dead. I've never heard anybody kill an aloe vera plant. How about your cactus? They're fine. Um, or your cacti. My mum's a bit of a, an orchid guru. She always brings them back to life. Orchids, I know that I never can keep orchids. And mum's like, I say, that's dead. And she's like, no, it's not. I'll bring it back to life. And she does, revive them. Um, okay. The plant block, yeah, the plant co covers that we had yesterday. Hannah made some of those for a cactus, cacti at home. I love the trellis one as well. Can I show you, just so you're aware, you get a saving of two pounds and you get a metre and a half of fabric overall. So each of your half metres looks like that, plus your panel. 
£25.96. Should we do this one first because I'm holding it? Okay, so your border fabric by the half metre looks like this. So it almost looks a bit like a panel, doesn't it? It's not. Um, if I hold it the other way around, well, you suppose you could have it like that way, couldn't you? If you're buying by uh, more than half a metre, the pattern will run straight down. The pattern will carry on running along. But I mean, how beautiful would this be running along the bottom of a bag? You could even, because you've got so many prints there, if you get your rotary cutter or your scissors and you cut between each part, you've actually almost got loads of fabric options there, haven't you? All colours that match beautifully together. Don't forget, if it's not appearing underneath on your web page, you can type in the code and you'll be able to find it um, on the websites. Just type in the code or speak to the customer service team. Half a metre looks like that, but you can multi-buy. You can buy, of course, a metre, two units, two metres, four units, however much you want. I'm thinking for dressmaking as well. That would look lovely. Really nice. The panel, on its own, there's less than 20 now. Less than 20 of the panel on its own, just to make you aware. I just think it's brilliant value. To say how, uh, you know, big these sort of um, blocks are on the panel, they're lovely. £9.99 for the panel and stock warning, we're less than 20. Six cushion fronts, really, or six wall hangings. Six corner blocks for a quilt. I mean, there's six, um, six, yeah, they're lovely gift ideas as well if you put them in a frame and embellish them. Share kindness, give blessings. I love the, the little quotes as well. I'm thinking as, as you enter in a hallway, in a hallway. Yeah, no, on the hall. Gosh, we were arguing this morning about the difference between a hall, a landing and a corridor. Oh, my word. It all is happening here in the morning at Sewing Street. All, all happens here. Should we do the trellis? Um, right, I'm going to put it out there. I think this is my favourite. Oh, that's, that's Hannah's favourite, hands down. Ha Our hands were up, hands down. <laughs> You can do a handstand, not in the gallery. There's definitely not room for you to do the handstand in the gallery. Look at this. Oh, I like this a lot. Do you know what I would do? I'd be really, um, I, would, I would quilt on the lines and make it look like I'd pieced them all together. It'd look like patchwork, wouldn't it? It'd look like patchwork. Sustain joy, plant hope, Share blessings. These are all things that I need to, to remember in my mind because uh, as, as my mantra, because Hannah, I always like to be positive. I'd like to think I'm, I'm a person that is a glass half full kind of gal. And um, once, Hannah, well, Hannah's so moody that she once said to me, do you just memorise fridge magnets or something? I was like, no, I'm just trying to spread positivity. I'm just trying to plant hope into Hannah's life and share, share, um, give, give grace, share blessings, sustain joy, Hannah. She says, I'm trying. <laughs> it's hard to sustain joy in such a small gallery. Oh, if you could see the little gallery. It's not a gallery. It's a cupboard. It's a cupboard. It's a very professional television gallery, I have, you know. See the little succulents as well? How cool would one of those just on the top of a pincushion? Do you know yesterday we made it, uh, we, we had a pincushion with the leather succulent on the top of it. You could do the pincushion. If you didn't want to do a leather succulent, you could just fussy cut one of those, couldn't you? <laughs> I love that word. Five ninety nine. Remember, the item code for this one is JVYV70. Type it in on the website if you can't find it underneath. JVYV70. Right, it's Hannah's favourite. Don't let that put you off. We are going to do it next. Um, she loves it. Just before we do, I want to just quickly revisit the Susan Briscoe book as it was brand new and we've now got only nine. This 
will sell out today. I'm not counting baskets. There's only nine left. It's a brilliant book and value for money is amazing at $9.99. There's a lot of quilting books out there that I absolutely love. There's lots of great quilt project books. This is your absolute skill builder. 400 tips, techniques, history, great secrets of the trade competing, trade fairs, exhibitions, right from basics. I mean, it's just brilliant. Yesterday, it was March 4th and try something new. Uh, so maybe you're in that mood of trying something new. Just so you know, there's now six, £9.99. If you can't see it underneath, it's R N P U 8 We'll try and get more of those, but um, I can't promise we'll get that price. And I, I don't know how long it will take. We've got at the moment a lot of new items coming in. What we'll have to do is next time Susan's here, we'll try and get some more for then so she can talk about it. But um, the problem is, is that I don't know whether we'd be able to get that price again. I'd seriously make the most of that because that's very low. Go on then, Hannah's favourite fabric. Do you know what? There are certain fabrics that I think lend themselves to being cut up for patchwork, like really beautifully. This, I would never cut it up. I'd have it just as all cushions. This is, oh, gorgeous. My lovely friend John Scott, I know, would love this. Absolutely love it as a shirt. Oh, oh absolutely. Um, in his living room, he's got a gorgeous big pink chair that's just the most amazing chair custom made chair it's fabulous and um this would look amazing on his chair i love the colors on there five pound 99. i'm not very good at injecting color into my home and i've said this to you before earlier on i had um i was looking through the different colors i'm really bad at it it's a skill in itself but just injecting these sort of colors it's not too overpowering but it's still a real spring feel it's such a homeware expensive look isn't it uh you think you're a tote bag for the garden center oh lovely paul that's paul's idea what about lovely little gardening a little gardening tools bag or even having storage boxes storage boxes for all of your bits and bobs in your sewing room Blinds for a bedroom. Blinds for a bedroom would look lovely or a living room. It would look gorgeous. It's very, very soft furnishing. I think that would look so lovely. It's new cushion seat covers for your dining room. Right, is it out there? Hannah wants trousers. No. Or a dress look. That is a gorgeous dress. It looks like quite an unusual floral. Then you look closer and you think, oh, actually, it's succulents. For a maxi dress for a wedding, because a lot of people I know choose the sort of purple tones for weddings, this would be beautiful. And you could actually... The thing is, sometimes when you find a dress and you want to find a little jacket or a shawl or something to go with it, it's hard to pick out colours. This, you could pick out the greens, you could pick out ochres, you could pick out turquoise colours, the purples. There's lots of different shades of lilac in there like that a lot. Now if you multi-buy, you still only pay one PMP and it will come joined up. So if you are thinking dressmaking, which I now think quite a few people will be, I didn't straight away, as I said, I would just have this as cushions on my sofa, in the conservatory, as cushion new seat pads for uh, the dining room or the kitchen, you know, you know those nice little, um, I'm imagining, you know, the old sort of chairs that you have the little seat pads that you tie new cushions on like dining room chairs that you tie the little seat covers on. They're lovely. £5.99. They're now talking about how expensive cushion seat pads are. It's lovely. Or if you got the panel, there's so many as you did, let's just fold this like this. If you were to imagine this down the side of your panel, did you see the border that we did yesterday around the quilt with Debbie Shaw? This would look really, really nice. Obviously, it goes perfectly as your border of a quilt. Quality of the fabric, of getting the depth of colours, the subtlety between the tones, but yet they're all striking colours but don't overpower each other. They all complement each other beautifully. It just works. It looks just expensive, doesn't it? Beautiful. Search the code if you can't find it underneath us on the web. It's J-I-Y-V-2-6. I will, um, I will show you before the end of the show how to do that. We are trying to get it onto the, the website underneath us. Now, don't remember, just remember, if you, uh, if you can't choose, 
and you can't choose between all the fabrics, don't need to. You can get the whole Mega Bunda with a two pound saving. So you get half a meter of your beautiful succulents, half a meter of the trellis, and then half a meter of that, I'm calling it the border one, um, and your panel. So a meter and a half of fabric, plus your massive, massive panel for 25 pounds, 96 pence. Now there's only four of these bundles. Only four of these bundles. I know we're having problems with the web, but this is one of the busiest mornings that we've had since day dot. I think it's because we've got so many exciting premiere products. Book, about to sell out. Way more of you have got it in your basket than available. Freezer paper is sold out. The pins are very, very, very limited. I think there's literally one or two of those. The panel is now less than, how many panels on their own are there left? Single figures. And the, the bundle itself, is single is very very limited as well well less than five of the bundles less than five 25 pound 96 it's completely free to call up and just to remind you if you're struggling to find it underneath on the web oh my gosh is that time oh my word um let me show you so if you go onto the website type in the item code um on the search bar so let's go for this one. L, B, X, C. Sorry, old typo, my big... Go on, say it again for me. Yeah. X, C, 12, 1, 2. There you go. It will redirect you. The picture might not come up, but it's there. And with the saving two pounds product code, and you can add to your baskets. Um, check out with only one PMP, no matter how many times you like throughout the day. So if you come back and you think, do you know what? I am going to make the most of the leopard print sewing box. Um, then you can do. So the next product. Sorry, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Let's go. The two different marking tools. Where's my sponge? <laughs> So, two different marking tools. It's completely personal preference. This is what I love about being part of, uh, of this community is that we all have different preferences. We all have different personal, you know, favorites. It's fine. The differences between these, we've got two different marking tools. This one is a water erasable. This one is a Madeira magic pen. It's water, uh, it's whether uh, water erasable and it's also air erasable, and it's got two different size nibs. We've been waiting so long for marking tools to come in. So excited. Let's start with the Madeira one. Uh, so before we bring the graphics in, the code for this, so you can start searching and put it in your basket because we do not have enough in stock for how fast these marking tools go. Are you ready? The item code number. Get into your product code uh, search bar. It is Q for Queen, for Quebec. H for Hannah. Z for Zebra. W for which? Oh, what is it? I'm so good at the phonetic alphabet. And this is Hannah's is put, whiskey. Hannah's putting me off. Go on. Nine zero. So get in there before, get in there before because it's going to get very, very busy on the phone line because a brand new marking tool, ready? Less than five pounds, less than five pounds. It's purple, but it doesn't matter because it will disappear. It's a temporary marking tool for your fabrics, two different size nibs, your finer point and then your thicker uh, point as well. So depending on you know what project you're doing or what you're using it for, whether it's to draw out your quilting lines on there, be aware it's air erasable. So don't mark out all your quilting thing and think, right, I'll quilt that next week or next month because it will disappear. Um, that It's a temporary marking pen, but if you are using, I'm just going to use the, the wrong side of this fabric. Obviously, you can go on the front, but for telly purposes, it's probably clearer for you to see on here, isn't it? So, this one's got a really lovely, strong point. Now, this sponge is dried up quite a lot because I did do this early this morning. So, I'll just give it a rub. Oh, there you go. Straight away. And it's not going to, to damage your fabric. If you're marking up your soft toys, your bags, any patterns, uh, your quilting lines, it's going to be really, really, really useful for you. But also, just give it a little bit of a test on your fabric. Give it a test, just a little, like that. 
I know that if you're just you, if you're if you're worried about using some of your best designer fabric. There you go, it's gone. That's completely gone. A little bit damp, but it's gone. If that's your best fabric, your favourite fabric, do a little test in the corner. Check that you're happy with how it removes. As I say, the other, um, the other, well, uh, they're both either remove with water or remove if you leave it, it will uh, air erase. But it is, um, it, it does have two nibs depending on the size of the of the, the line you want to make, basically. £4.99 for your purple, and just to remind you, the item code, if you can't find it uh, underneath us, is type it in, QHZW90. If you've already checked out, do not worry, only one PMP all day long of £3.95. Just so you know, there's a lot of people that are phoning in our customer service team for this. I've got the other marking tool. Remember, this one is air and water erasable. Air and water. This one's just water. So if you do want air erasable, that's the one to go for. If you do want the double um, double nib, then that one's good. We always get asked, you see, we always get asked for different ones. It's good for drawing like soft toy faces to make sure you position, you're happy with the positioning of your eyes, things like that. This one is great. I love water erasable. I think whether you chuck it in the wash after you've made it or whether you want to sit, like I say, with a damp cloth and, uh, and water it, then this, then this is pretty easy. If you've never tried a marking product like this, just want to... Build your trust up, try something different, uh, have a go. It's different watching us to doing it yourself, but I'll show you. This is a give it a go price. It really is. £2.49, my word. Just add it. If you've already bought the book or the panel or something else, just add it to your order. So it's a really lovely clear line. I'm obviously brilliant at drawing. There you go. So, if you, you know, playing noughts and crosses, as you do always on your best fabric, or cross hatching. <laughs> On your quilting, again, just with a wipe on a wet sponge. Sorry, tele demos. We, you'd prob I didn't practice. I didn't practice. I probably should have just gone a little squiggle and just checked that I was happy with it. I went straight for a noughts and crosses board. <laughs> so again, look, there you go. The marking is gone. Do just, do just check. I'll do it on a not damp bit. If you've not used this type of marking tool, maybe you've only ever used Taylor's Chalk, it's a good chance to try it out at this price, isn't it? Let me go on to a, a drier side. This, remember, is just water erasable. So this won't... If you are marking out your, your quilting blocks and then you think, right, actually, I'm going to come back to that tomorrow, I'm going to come back to it, on a, a, you know, depending on... I, I, I can't tell you with the other one how long it takes to erase. It depends on different conditions, things like if you've got air conditioning on, if you've got the hairdryer there or something, it's probably going to speed up the process. Um, but it does say two days on the other one, but it's variable depending on what condition you're in. Um, I, my sponge has dried up because I did wet this before the show, but just to show you still how quick and easy it is to remove those, <laughs> remove those lines. £2.49. A lot of people are uh, spotted the spot. I've just been doing a little bit of a uh, bit of cleaning in the studio this morning. But there you go. The purple pen, the Madeira purple pen. Doesn't matter the colour of it. It just it's good to have a bit of a selection depending on what fabric you're using. Do look for Madeira Magic Pen on the website. There's a lot of people on the uh, the phone line making the most of this one. And the bargain pen. I'd try them both out at those prices. Um, Leopard print box. Oh, I saw the advert, I saw the email, the newsletter come out from our lovely uh, marketing manager, Hayley, uh, featuring this one. This is my cup of tea. If you're after a gift for somebody, how... <gasps> oh my word! Oh, what a lovely surprise. Right, I'm telling everybody. Hannah went on a date last night and he bought a Ferrero Rocher's. Cat didn't know. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm having it. Thank you. Oh, Ferrero Rocher's. It doesn't come with Ferrero Rocher's, uh, unfortunately, but Hannah's met a lovely man that bought a Ferrero Rocher's. Well, it was the first time they met, so we'll see. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, yeah, we are getting ahead of, of ourselves. I'm already planning my, my dress from the floral fabric and everything for the wedding. So your pin cushion, you've got your nice little storage compartment. You can't see on screen very well, but that is a, a padded pin cushion. Also has your extra storage tray and loads of lovely storage. I'm thinking if you do EPP or if you do hand stitching, if you do Sashko, you want to keep all your binding all together and your clips maybe. I think there's a lot of bag makers that use this one. Maybe, you know, keeping all of your... Um... Sorry, was that a bit loud? Keeping your wonder clips in one. You've got your little scissors in another. Keeping your... Uh, it's nice to be able to have a bit of a selection of different sewing boxes. Um, and nice to have different st styles, isn't it? But just to keep bits and bobs and more organised. Oh, yeah, we all love that. It's really fun, isn't it? Really, really fun. And it's very plush. I thought you've got a... Sh you have got a shirt like this, haven't you? It's lovely. I like the trim around the edge. Look at the detail. £16.99 for your medium leopard design sewing box. Great gift idea for somebody. If you love leopard print, it's so on trend. I thought it was going to be a bit of a fad that came in and went out, but oh, no, 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 no. Still all for the leopard print. It's everywhere still, all over the red carpet, isn't it? Hannah it loves leopard print. You've got a leopard print jumpsuit, haven't you? Full leopard print jumpsuit. Maybe, you know, you're thinking, I just want a bit of a nod to the fashion without wearing a full leopard print jumpsuit. How about a little scissor keeper? Little scissor keeper. Um, right, I don't know whether you get this. You do! Yeah, you get the scissors. Brilliant. So, I know what price it's going to, therefore I didn't think it came with the scissors. And look at the detail, there's such lovely detail. Before we bring in the price, I know that we're limited on time, but I just really, really want to show you this. So, on Famous Famous um, Department Store website, great price, agreed, to say that you get the scissors as well. Just to say you get the scissors as well, it's £6.50. So I thought, when Hannah said to me, we've got a brilliant deal, I thought, £4.99. We've got it at £5, haven't we? We've got it at £5, and you get the scissors included. Oh, boy, have we got a saving for you. If you have bought anything, just add these to your order, because how lovely are these to take on your, you know, your holidays, take on the movie, you ready? Go for it. They're three ninety nine. I know so many of our designers that would love these. I'm imagining Tula Pink as well to be wanting these. They are. I love that they've got that metallic print. They're gorgeous. Your little scissor keeper. How often do you lose your little scissors? John Cole Morgan, our new presenter, he was saying he's always losing his little embroidery snips. And they're really, really lovely and pointy right to the tip. So if you're snipping into curves, if you want to, um, you know, just do some fine little snipping with you next to your sewing machine or to take on the move maybe for EPP, they're really handy to have, aren't they? Keep on coming in. You're always going to need a nice little pair of embroidery scissors for just £3.99. Cross stitches as well, hand stitches, lovely. If you're just checking out, if you've checked out on the book, for example, or the panel, and you're thinking, there's no point me buying these now because I'll have another P&P &P to pay. No, 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 only one P&P &P all day long, which is fantastic. Susan, well done. Oh, I love them. Hello, Wendy, good morning. Don't forget, even if you're watching on a replay later on, if you're buying something that's underneath on the website or from the code on the website, it's still only one p, p So, for example, the Wonder Clips that I know I haven't had chance to, to bring you, they will be listed underneath. They are listed underneath, as, as well as the beehive bits and bobs that you've seen as well, the uh, rotating cutting mat. There's, they're underneath us on the web. So just to remind you, the website is sewingstreet.com. It will jump you then to our sister channel, which is Jewelry Maker. Um, but then, just to remind you, um, what am I doing? If you load in your item code number, which for this one is PZZ, there it is straight away. The first one that comes in was PZZ is there. Your scissor, keeper and case, no picture I'm afraid, but they are them. We've got gremlins, but it is this uh, it is this pair of scissors with your little case. £3.99. You can add to your basket and you'll still only pay one postage and packaging throughout. Oh, I'm buying. What am I buying? Let's have a look. I got the uh, the kit, didn't I? The panel. Oh, no, my basket's empty. I, I need to log in. 
create an account. I'll be doing that in a second. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, last time, I haven't logged in because last time I did this at Sewing Quarter, I showed you how to buy. Hannah had her log, uh, a login on and I showed everybody her account details. So she says, I'm not logging in on this iPad <laughs> because I'll end up showing you all our details. Anyway. Thank you for your company. I don't know where today is gone. It's just been manic. I will be back with you next Thursday. So you've got John Cole Morgan joining you and Debbie Shaw over the next few days. It's been an absolute pleasure to be with you today. Enjoy your week. John's going to be with you tomorrow. Do make sure you're checking out. There's another replay to enjoy after this. John will be with you tomorrow at nine o'clock. <laughs>